Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdger.com here to bring you another gear review and today I'm talking about something kind of unique. This is the Dark Vault by Theorem. Taking a step back, 30,000 foot view, who is Theorem, what is a Dark Vault? Well, Theorem is a small company out of California, make a number of different products to include some just really handy stuff like Cell Vault, which is basically a capsule that holds batteries whether it's CR123s, AA's, AAA's, 18650s, AA's, and holds them securely, watertight, and basically have a piece that comes down so you can hook it into PALS webbing, like Molly stuff. So put it on plate carrier, belt, backpack, whatever, securely carry batteries or survival kit, whatever you may put in there. Really handy stuff. And they also make the Dark Vault, which, what is the Dark Vault? Think of it as a Faraday cage for electronics, whether it's radios or maybe a cell phone. If you're unfamiliar with what a Faraday cage is, think of it as a metal cage that attenuates a number of different frequencies. So what does that mean? It's basically something that keeps signals from coming in or going out through a spectrum of different frequencies. What does that mean? It means that if you take this dark vault and open it up, and then you take something like maybe a cell phone and you put that in here, and then you close this up, this acts as a Faraday cage and it keeps signals from going in or coming out. So why would you wanna do that? Well, turns out there's a whole number of reasons. Stuff like this gets used by the military intelligence community overseas. Snatch up bad guys, grab their electronics, throw them in here because bad guys' friends might be accessing that microphone, that camera, that location, figure out what's going on. So throw it in there, non-issue. Same with maybe said device potentially be used to set up an IED. So sever that communication, throw it in here, it goes dark non-issue at that point. Good thing. So why would someone want to use this over here stateside? Well, say for example, a big tech company releases their terms of service and says, if you use our app, you are hereby agreeing to us having access to your camera, to your microphone, to your location, pretty much any data you have on your phone to include your actual network that you may be on and any devices near you. You're like, what? That sounds crazy. It does sound crazy. And if you want, you can go read Instagram's terms of service because that's exactly what it says. Carte blanche to pull any and all data without you knowing, again, microphone, location, images from your camera, not photos you've taken, but through your camera. Think about that for a minute. Personally, not a huge fan. You can make the argument that, oh, it's benign. Like they just want to take your data so that they can sell it, tailor stuff to you, and then basically sell you a product that they think you will like because they scraped all this data from you. Well, that's absolutely the most benign way of looking at it. Maybe they might do that. But going off the other side, all it does is get dark. So where does this come in? So this dark vault can be used to minimize or eliminate some of those issues. So how have I used it? Well, once Terms of Service got rolled out by Instagram, I was like, wow, that's super messed up. You are like literally spying on people under the guise of so that you can tailor ads to them. Like, no, hard pass. Not okay with that. Big fan of personal liberty and freedom. So what I did was I had a old phone and then I also have my phone and this is the one I actually use. So I pulled the app off of this phone and I put it on this phone. This phone inside here stays off. And then when I want, pull this thing out, turn it on for a minute take this other phone, airdrop whatever photos I want onto it real quick, throw this phone back into here, that dark vault, and I take this one, 
start up the Instagram app, go ahead, make my post, and then power this down, throw it back into the dark vault, take my real phone out of the dark vault. Kind of ridiculous, right? I'll be honest, that is a lot of work on my part to be able to maintain a level of personal privacy just to use an app. So where did I land on it? Well, after doing that for about a week, basically I'm over it. I'm done with Instagram. I think, I think that's untenable and I think it's a huge egregious affront to personal liberties. I choose not to support them or Facebook, so I bowed out. But does that mean there are no other uses for this? No, there's plenty of uses for this. Again, this basically takes your cell phone or radio and it cuts the signal. Not only are signals not able to get in and out, like all of it, can't access the phone, can it, or the phone period, till can't access the camera, can't access the microphone or the GPS. So basically makes it go dark, boom, mysteriously off the grid. You can go be you and go be free. I think there's some value in that. Here's a quick rundown on the case. And no, that's a sticker I put on there from Uncana because I had it and I'm like, I'm gonna put a sticker on here. But on the back of the case, we have these clips right here. You can undo them. And this allows it to be attached to say a placard, something like that on a plate carrier, something along those lines, slide this in, clips in, basically that PALS webbing. And now this thing is secured onto your chest. To access it up here, you open this and this piece, if it's attached to your chest, when you lift this open, folds down, giving you access to the inside. Inside here, there's these Velcro panels. They are basically pre-cut, sticky backed. You can put them on if you would like to. I have these put on here. This one right here can go on the front if you want. If you have whatever needs to be on the outside of this, Again, think some sort of mission des designator or something along those lines. But inside here opens up and then if you want, which I have not done, you can basically Velcro back your phone so it can stick in here one side or the other. Basically keep things from moving around, which is pretty handy. But once you are done accessing your electronics, this folds back up, clicks closed right there. And if you want to, there's actually holes on this side as well as this side, and you can actually put a lock on there if you actually need to secure this thing. Pretty cool little design. As far as dimensionally and what it'll hold, basically a little bit over seven inches by about five and a half inches and about one and a half inches thick. Internally, just over an inch. So pretty much every iPhone number of different Samsung phones. It'll hold number of Crestals as well as some different Garmin's and pretty much anything else that will fit inside that footprint. Again, it's going to attenuate pretty much most of those signals. If you want to nerd out, here's what it will attenuate between 300 megahertz and 1500 megahertz by at least 90 decibels, which is generally enough to block normal cell phone calls, data, also GPS signals. Something to note, this is not something strong enough to block a number of higher, like 2.4 gigahertz signals from like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So if you're around stuff like that, it can end up getting through this. And the other thing is keep in mind, if you're standing under a cell tower and it's an incredibly strong signal, it may be able to get through this. But generally speaking, as far as where you are, between those frequencies, this thing will pretty much keep it dark. These also come in a number of different colors, whether it's safety orange, flat dark earth, olive drab, black, and hydro dip multicam. If you wanna pick one up, you can do so over at Theorem. Is it for everyone? I don't know. I will say 2020 was pretty wild. 2021 seems to be headed in that direction. Maybe something like this might come in handy. I don't know, but if you pick one up, let me know it's done for you. And if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. 
You can do so by just liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, or over on Teespring or Ballistic Inc. Picking up some shirts maybe, or support me directly through Patreon. Really appreciate that. And if you have questions for me, probably not in the YouTube comments, but over there on Patreon, have a Discord set up. More than happy to answer any of your questions. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.